What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Zane Zay the Prince, and we back with another video. Now, y'all already see by the title, bro. This our top five. Not five, four, three, two, one. Wait, hold on. Wait, if I said not five, four, three, two, that means, hold on, so that, but, I meant not one, not two, not three, not four, but yes, my top five. <laughs> my top five boxers, you guys. We already know. We already know who's going to be at the top of the list. Let me not even. We're not going to get. We're not going to start at the top. We're going we're gonna to go from, you know, the bottom, which is the five, the, whoever's at five, four. We're going to go straight down from five. You feel me? So starting at number five, we got my boy, my dog, Sugar Ray Leonard. You guys, Sugar Ray Leonard, he he's really that guy, you guys. This man won. Uh, belt. He won a belt in um, welterweight, middleweight. Uh, did he win one in light? Did he? Win, he I think he won one light heavyweight as well. This man is thirty six and three with like twenty five knockouts. Guys, there's no reason why this man Sugar Ray Leonard should not be in any should, should not be in anyone's top five. Let, let alone, let alone, just be like. Out of anyone's top ten, like if you're, if he's not at least in your top ten, you just you're crazy. I, I think, come on, you guys, if you if you don't put Sugar Ray Leonard up there, I might have to just come through, come through the screen, bam, just sock you dead in your stuff. No, I'm just playing, <laughs> I'm just playing. But look, y'all, that's number, um, that's number five. And let me tell y'all why, man. I, I already told y'all, you know, the win loss record, you know, and, and he's won multiple belts. You guys don't understand how hard it is not only just to win multiple belts, but to do it in like three divisions, to go. To fluctuate and wait that much and win titles is insane. I, I, you guys, I can't, I can't stress that enough. It's really insane that you know anybody can do that, man. Like anybody can do that, man. They, they deserve to be in top five and something. But you feel me? That, that's, that's my boy. Uh, you, you gotta respect Sugar Ray Leonard. You feel me? The sweet one, the sweet one. But you feel me? He deadly. <laughs> and then we got you feel me? You already know, man. I, I gotta. Gotta have Roy Jones Jr. Gotta have Roy Jones Jr. Come on now. An another person who's also won titles in multiple belts. This man, I'm talking about um uh light heavyweight, middleweight, uh heavyweight. This man just Roy Jones, their hands down was the greatest for his for his era. I think he, in my opinion, he was the greatest boxer in his era. There was nobody touching him. Until he got older, of course, and you know he ended up fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> I still can't believe that happy, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Y'all can y'all believe that as much as as much as I can, bro? Cause I'm not gonna hold, bro. That, that, that almost seems unbelievable, bro. <laughs> but look, you guys, you feel me? I, I I have to put my I have to put Roy Jones Jr. in there, man. I mean, you know he you know he always fighting, you know hands low. You feel me? Hands always low. You feel me? But he. Head movement go crazy. His head movement dumb crazy. Uh, footwork is, uh, you know, it's amazing. You know his. But the thing about him always having his hands down. Once as he got older and he, you know, you gotta have him hands up. You feel me? He he was. His defense was getting obliterated <laughs> when he got older, and you, that's just how it is, though, man. If you if you train to fight a certain way your whole life, and as you as your skills deteriorate, deteriorate and your athleticism, you get older, you know, you can't really, you don't have those quick twitch, you know, muscles that you used to have, man. It, it catches up. It catches up to you. And I mean, you know, he, you ended up, you know, you ended up losing. And But it's okay, man. I mean, he's still very great for what he did, man. That's why I put him at four, man. He, he's number four, man. Roy Jones Jr., you got to put him in, in your top five. Number three, we got the great one, the greatest, the prettiest, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We got my boy Muhammad Ali. You guys, I'm telling you, Muhammad Ali, let's just step aside from boxing first. This man was so great on so many levels outside of the ring, man. He really stood in what he believed in, and he really, you know, was sort of an activist. He was really pushing for freedom and, and rights and he was a very you know um how would i say it? how would i say it? not controversial 
very polarizing figure. That's that's what Muhammad Ali was outside during and inside during. This man was like a, a poet. I mean, this man could rhyme. You feel me? Like like nothing, bro. <laughs> this man would roast you, man. Talk about your talk about your face, how ugly you was. That he would literally say that stuff, bro. But um, in the ring, man, I, it's hard to even not say Muhammad. You could really put Muhammad Ali at one if you want, bro. Muhammad Ali's so great, man, and he's been in wars. I'm talking about with Big Joe, Big George Foreman, uh, had the trilogy with smoking Joe Frazier, uh, fought Ken Norton. Ken, let me was Ken. I think Ken Norton was the one who broke his jaw. Uh, I mean, he's been in some battles with some. Uh, th those three fighters alone could be in the top five that I just named greatest fighters of all time. I and the only reason why I ain't put uh Big George Foreman in, bro, is because I really think those other guys are that much better. Like, you know, but um. Uh, oh, I can't tell y'all who, who all I got, but yeah, um, not yet, but yeah, man, he he's fought some dogs. You feel me? I mean, he's even he's fought Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes, he's not really all that, but he's fought um Sonny Liston. Like the list goes on. This man is like fifty six and five. No, right? It's fifty six and five. Yeah, he's like fifty six and five. Like thirty eight, thirty seven knockouts. He's been heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, lineal heavyweight champion in the world. This man was just goaded, like literally, man. Footwork was amazing. He did have his hands down all the time, but he could, he, uh, you feel me? He just, uh, 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 just pop that jab out. You feel me? From from his waist, and he makes it look easy. He makes it look easy. Head movement, crazy, bro. This man was fast, strong. This man, Muhammad Ali, man, truly a legend. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. You feel me? But. You feel me? You gotta get into the next one. Number two, you can't. There is if you don't have this man in your top five, you just leave, leave, get out of my face, get out of my face. If you don't have me in the top five, we are, you already know what it is. It's your boy Mike Iron Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. This man Iron Mike Tyson, bro. You already know, man. Fifty and six. What like forty four knockouts? Just a straight monster in that ring. Every time he steps in that ring, he you feel me, exudes the, just exudes confidence, and he just spreads fear into the, into the, his opponent's eyes, and he just, man, he, <laughs> he's menacing when he steps in that ring, no socks, black trunks, black, uh, black shoes, uh, red gloves, man, it's just dangerous, he looks like he's ready to fight, he don't need nothing on, he don't even come on, sometimes he ain't even come on with the towel, bro, he, he ain't have to dress fancy or nothing, that man just comes straight to handle business, Mike Tyson, we, I mean, we, you guys, I mean, to start out, man, this man was just crazy. The knockout rate was crazy, bro. I, I have to look it up, like, how, like what was his knockout rate to, towards the end of his career, bro? But, oh, my gosh, man, this man, when I mean fundamentally sound in everything, head movement was perfect, you feel me? He had the, he had the, um. He, he was fighting out of the peekaboo because, you know, he, he was a shorter fighter. You know, he was about 5'10", you feel what I'm saying? He was shorter, so you feel me? He had to get up in there. He had to get up in there, you feel me? And he had to really get into the body of those big heavyweights. And one to the body, uppercut to the, you feel me, to the jaw, man. I, that, that's his bread and butter. It'd be that. <clears throat> that's, that's how he do it, bro. You feel what I'm saying? He hit him with the body, one to the head. The body always kills the head, you guys. I'm telling you guys. But you feel me, Mike Tyson, bro, you got to have him at number two, bro. Knockout, just monster. I mean, I think if he would have never been so, how would I say, if he, would, if he wouldn't have lost focus and if he would have stayed on the correct path that Customato had him on, I believe he would have went undefeated. I don't think no one would ever be Mike Tyson. And I, and I put that on everything. I don't, not, not. Evander, not um, what you gonna call it? Not not uh, who 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 he lost to uh Buster Douglas, not um, what you gonna call it? What you gonna call it? Uh, uh uh Lennox Lewis. He he wouldn't have lost to these guys, you know. And um, you know, but things happen, man. And unfortunately, he did end up losing, bro. But Mike Tyson, man, just. It's Mike Tyson. That's all you gotta say, you guys. Like it's Mike Tyson. That's number two. At number one, you guys. If he is not 
at if he's not top two at least you guys i think i might i think i might just have to like i might have to just leave the room i might have to I, like, I might have to just leave the room. Like, I, I don't even think I actually... <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all still saw me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, the camera's pretty big. But look, y'all. <laughs> look, y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Floyd Money Mayweather. You guys, if you don't have Floyd Money Mayweather at number one, or at least number two, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Bro, 50 and 0, 27 knockouts. This man, Floyd Mayweather, has fought greats like Manny Pacquiao, Canelo Alvarez. He fought, uh, what's, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, um, Oscar De La Hoya. The list goes on, you guys. I'm telling you guys. This man, and, and people want to say he fought people when they were, you know, like, just coming up. Like, this man, Floyd, was about to retire. Like, what you, <laughs> and he still schooled him. So, it just shows he he, he beat up Mar Marcos Maidana uh, twice. You feel what I'm saying? So, what can you say? What can you say about Floyd Mayweather? This man, I mean, he, he went from pretty boy to, to money. May pretty boy was knocking people out. Money Mayweather was, you know, he was trying to be pretty with it. You feel me? He was trying to keep himself, you know, keep himself, you know, not hurt. You know what? He wasn't getting hit a lot. You know, he was just trying to land, get up out there, make a hundred million in, <laughs> in about 36 minutes. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's honestly crazy. But yeah, man, Floyd Money Mayweather footwork is beautiful. Um, I mean, pad work, he's great on the pads. This man, he's he has extremely high boxing IQ. This man is just so great at everything. Defensively, the greatest defensive boxer ever to live. Most one of the most accurate boxers ever. This man, Floyd Mayweather, just embodies what a boxer should be. He's goaded, and he's the greatest of all time. TBE, he's the best ever. I don't, there, there'll never be another Floyd Mayweather. He a billionaire, you feel me? This man is just amazing, bro. And I think he he inspires a lot of, you know, young up-and-comers, you know, not just in boxing, but in, in a lot of things to just, you know, really work hard, you know, get out the mud and become great at what they want to be. And, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure all the boxers I listed, you know, they inspire people, so... You know, that's that's one of the main things, y'all. But this it's been, it's been your boy, Zay Zay the Prince. We make videos every single day. I don't know what that was, but you feel me? Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And follow your Instagram at Zay Zay the Prince. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.